Can we build a snowman? Can you come and play? Let's take a ride on a scooter today. <laughs> We're on one bar. It's a one shot to get this. Oh, look at that. Woo! We killed all off. Do a little bait and switch because I thought I was gonna ride a scooter. I never told you you were sitting down. Standing. You're a stand up. Hey, standing. you're a stand up kind of guy, so why would you expect to sit down? Put the kickstand up there. Actually, it, whoa, there he goes. Look, if you want to buy the scooter, here's what you need to know it's super easy, it comes compact, even Mike can lift it out of his trunk. All you have to do is set it up, pull out the tools, check them out set it down, do some cloudy with a chance of meatballs, screwing, engaging, peeling, pushing, and it's on, ready to go. It's that simple. And then if you wanna get in the snow, check this out. What? Uh, come on now, tell me that's not cool. Thank you, John, I'll take it over from here. Yes, it is very cool. The belt on this just looks kind of wicked and I'm really excited to try it out. But first I took it for a regular scooter run and it, it's a great scooter, two wheel scooter. It performed really strong and solid, but I didn't get this to try it on concrete. I got it to try it on snow. So let's get the front wheel taken off. We're gonna get the back wheel taken off. They provide all the screws in the box that you need to do this. Take that back hub wheel off, take the brake off. Then we get to install the snowmobile-like track on the back. So it's just a hub motor inside there, but they've got this additional contraption on there with the treads on this track. And then we put the sled on the front, which does have a shock built into it. And it is very, very sturdy plastic with a metal rod. So I'm pretty confident this thing's going to be extremely sturdy. It was very simple just to plug back in the motor cable and the brake light cable and then put the plastic covers back on. You do want to make sure that that hub motor cable is not touching up against anything. So when that thing is spinning in there, you're not stripping any electrical cords. <laughs> Not sure why I got so excited about that step, but I just, I was so cool to hear that belt on the track going as if I had my full fledged snowmobile with this cool LCD screen to show me how fast I was going to go on the snow. Let's get it out there and find some snow. It actually fit nicely into the back of my Audi e-tron. It does fold down, so no big deal to throw in the back and we headed up the mountain. I did commandeer my good friend and physical therapist, John, to go up because I'm still recovering from a knee injury. It's a beast. Good thing you work out. You think we're gonna break a leg on this thing? You will. <laughs> I'm not, because you're riding it. This thing's got crazy front shocks there on the front with the sled. That's a nice rebound. In the back here, we got dual shocks with that cool belt coming out the backside there. We got the brake mechanism and it's dangerously close to this. And this whole thing, this arm free swings depending on the terrain. So your brakes might go out first, just saying. Hey, do you know of any good physical therapists that we really do damage to our joints around here? Yeah. So uh, true story guys said, uh, John's actually my physical therapist. See, I wasn't brave enough to ride this for the first time. Well, also I'm still recovering for a knee. That's my excuse. This is the maiden run for the electric snow scooter. So safety first, we got your helmet. Do you know where your emergency broadcast system on this is in case you yes, get stuck if i get going a little too fast i can be there you go okay perfect i also brought my old school boosted rev here is that thing meant for snow no so what, what point are you trying to make by doing this no, why no. why are you even doing this? this is such a bad idea how how many weeks out from having an mcl acl and meniscus repair are you uh, yeah no you're not this isn't I can't condone this behavior right now. You, uh, but at least you put your knee brace on. I did. At least, uh, oh, Michael. Oh, look at you go. This front wheel drive. So is, is that a viable option for winter? <laughs> so this is what it's like 
trying to use an electric scooter in the snow. Now the boosted rev's giving us the best chance because that thing is dual wheel. Yeah, you gotta be on like, like there's some spots where it's nice and ice and it goes pretty fast. Wow, I'm impressed. Yes! <laughs> I win! <laughs> That's fun. Take it for another go, man. Just full send it. That's fun. I can give you some exercises, John. My PT gave them to me. They work really well for extra, like balance and stuff. Here you go. Take it up. Take it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you almost hit me. So what do you think, John? I think that this is about as good a test as you can give this thing with two heavy guys on crappy conditions. It's not gonna get much harder than what we put this through. And honestly, it was a lot of fun. It did pretty good. If I lived in an environment where this would be usable, I think it'd be a fun toy. Yeah, from the desert to the snow in 30 minutes, that's why everybody shouldn't live in Tucson. It's just for us. It is, just for us. So this is a fun test up here on Mount Lemon, putting this thing through the paces. Next, let's go find some sand. And in Arizona, there is no beachfront property. So the next best thing is a wash with lots and lots of sand. Everything that we were just in moments before, this is where it ends up. This is where it ends up. So this is, yeah, the melt off of that snow that we're in. That's gonna suck right there, dude. I feel for that cyclist. And supposedly, our wonderful snow scooter is also a sand scooter, but it's never been tested before. John might actually eat it before he even it's gets going. It's as it gets. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this thing's actually just gonna face plant John. Oh. Just call me a guinea pig. Dude, I think this is perfect sand to try it out on. Nah. So at this point we were feeling a little bit discouraged because this sled just does not slide well, at least in the washes of Arizona, maybe on harder packed sand on a beach, but I did have another idea and that was maybe we put the off-road tire on the front because that sled was just not sliding on the sand as well. So obviously it didn't work in the sand with the sleds. So let's see how this works, huh? Do you think it's gonna work? I do. Okay, all right, well I have faith in you. This feels like a regular scooter now. Wow. 
Oh, oh no! Dude. You all right? Oh yeah, I, was, I kind of saw it coming and hammed it up. So while it did much better with that front off-road tire on there, this sand was still just too soft. So if you've got harder pack sand, I think that it would work as a snow scooter on the sand with that backed belt, which did perform well in the sand. It's just that front weight on that wheel. Yeah, it's just that front tire, even the off-road one just digs right in. We definitely got a lot of attention from people that were out and about when they saw this thing. They just had never seen an electric scooter with a snowmobile belt on the back. Oh, it'd be perfect for Alaska. Right, I've seen the dirt bikes that are converted into the, the tread. Is this type of scooter the only kind that has a track that you can buy for it? Right now, it's the only one. It's not even on the market yet. It's supposed to come out in a couple months. If you uh, remember Man Shed, Man like shed. a shed, Man yeah. Shed. That's my YouTube channel, okay. and that's where the video is going to get posted. While we were down there, I went ahead and taught John how to ride a one wheel, and he took it on like a champ. He's also a surfer, so I think that helped him. So this thing actually is pretty freaking cool. I definitely had a lot of fun on it. John and I had a lot of fun in the snow for sure. Sand, mm, I think there's some things that they can improve to make it a little bit better in the sand. It depends on the type of sand that you're trying to ride it in. Dirt off-road, snow, heck, even mud, I think this thing would be a lot of fun in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting a special coupon code when this thing gets released for you guys to get it at an extreme discount that is going to be exclusive for my Man Shed subscribers. So be sure to subscribe so you get notified when I post the coupon code and the link to be able to purchase this one-of-a-kind electric snow scooter.